Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today is my October Rocker Box and Glossy Box unboxing. We have got this month and November left. I might, depending on how you feel, one arm shorter than the other on my chair, very helpful. I was like, <laughs> um, I might buy just like one month of boxes just to get us to December because my subscription ends in November for Glossy Box. So I might cancel it and buy like one more box just to kind of finish the year off nicely. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Does that make more sense? I feel like it's weird to just finish in November, but that might just be like my completionist brain. I don't know. Anyway, let's just get like straight in to Rocker Box. It's looking quite thick. It's looking like a thick girly. Let's get straight in. Card. Something in here smells phenomenal. I'm gonna go for these. By the way, sorry if I appear low energy. Some people, bless them, bless you, like, love you guys. Sometimes you message me like, hey, you seemed really low in that video, or are you okay? And you know, just checking in. And it is so sweet of you, but sometimes I am just literally just low energy. Like it's half 10 at the moment, I'm filming, and I don't really have any other time to film at the moment because I'm so busy with work and stuff. I get home, you know, cook dinner, do all of that sort of stuff. and again it's half 10 again so sorry if i'm low energy basically but i'm happy i might just be like <laughs> um so yeah first product let's get into it this is the umberto gianni flowerology cocoa and rose vegan mask it retails for nine pounds 75 i think this is a full size it looks like it it smells like roses i can smell it already it says take a moment for yourself with this uber hydrating treatment hair mask designed to help dry dehydrated hair get the moisture boost it needs it works to deeply penetrate the hair shaft why do i feel weird about that whilst moisturizing and hydrating your locks from root to tip we love that it is also made of 97 percent natural ingredients and it's vegan and cruelty free so you can feel good about using it i like the packaging i think the packaging is quite cute it's nothing necessarily eye-catching but it's just like nice you know there's some flowers on it and i can smell the rose <sighs> it's actually do you know what it smells nicer not like straight up the essence of it smells nice but yeah it's very rose based so if you don't like the smell of rose and you're not gonna like this at all because it does smell of straight up rose i actually don't mind rose i think rose is a really nice smell i prefer lavender and things like that when we come to sort of like flowers but honestly i don't mind rose i think it's quite a nice scent next product is this this is the q a vitamin ace warming gel mask it is uh well i think it's full size it retails for eight pounds fifty it says unwind with this antioxidant rich face mask that is packed with some of our favorite superfood ingredients the mask warms your skin on application then turns milky as you wash it away it's highly moisturizing and deeply nourishing and making it a perfect treat for a relaxing evening i'm down for a relaxing evening what does this look like i love a face mask by the way like i I love it. I love a face mask. I typically, oh, the packaging feels nice. I don't know why, but like the poly count on this plastic feels nice. It feels like really nice and soft to touch. This is what the packaging looks like. Very kind of clinical looking, very kind of Dr. Jart esque, you know, that sort of colourful but clinical looking. I don't mind that. I think it looks quite nice. Um, I like the colour of it. I like the skincare checklist it has on the back here. I don't know if you can see that, but I really like things like that on packaging. I just like to sit and look at it sometimes when it's on my face, just like, oh yeah, nice. It says, uh, this is better for oily, stressed, dry, normal combination skin, apart from it doesn't have sensitive tick. But I, I have sensitive, but like, I can tough guy see through it, you know? Um, I normally do clay masks in the bath. That's like usually my time and place, just because I find it convenient to then wash it off as I'm in the bath. Baths for me are not washing, they're for relaxing. And yeah, like, I'm usually in the shower because I just want to get it done and over with. So cream, clay masks that might need a little bit more to like, you know, wash off. I have them in the bath. It's a lovely sensation. That looks really nice. Happy with that. Next thing in here is these. This is the Skin and Tonic Be Soothed Rose Mist. This actually might be the rose I can smell. Uh, this retails for £10 and again I think it's a full size. It says brush off your stresses with this feel good floral mist. Be Soothed Rose Mist instantly lifts your spirits with its soft mood enhancing scent. Your super hydrating blend of rose water, aloe and glycerin perks up your skin too, leaving you looking as refreshed as you feel. Mm, okay, I like the sound of that. I mean, so where do I like, do I spray it on my skin? Do I spray it on my pillow? It says mist liberally to hydrate your skin. So your skin. Um, and calm mood, suitable for all skin. I mean, I wasn't planning on getting in the shower tonight, so I had a shower this morning. 
I wasn't very liberal, but you know, just in case. I smell like a rosy spa. Okay, I'm down. I mean, to be honest with you, these are the sort of things that I don't typically buy myself, okay? I'm just gonna say it outright. I'm not really like a, a soothing mist type of person. I've had pillow sprays bought for me. I've bought pillow sprays before. I don't like go through them actively. I like to have one on hand somewhere in like my drawers. I like to be like, oh, I've got something for that. But I don't use them every day, like a ritual or anything like that. It's more of a calming, stress relieving, moment in time you know it's like a moment in time thing that i have in my sort of collection stash um and this is the sort of thing that i wouldn't actively buy but sometimes it's nice to have i feel like it's one of those things that i could pan this really easy like get through it enjoy it experience it then be done with it but nice it's a nice thing to have in a box it's not necessarily something you buy yourself the next thing in here is our little handmade soap by the looks of things this is the faith in nature wild rose handmade soap it's full size retails for seven pounds it says we adore this handmade pure vegetable soap that gently cleanses tones and refreshes without drying the skin it's naturally powerful detergent action effectively removes dirt and bacteria and is formulated using the highest quality naturally derived ingredients with 100 percent natural fragrance this fresh fragrancy of rosemary oh, i love rosemary is perfect for your energizing your mind body and spirit Faith in Nature do some lovely products. I've had Faith in Nature products before and they've always been really, really lovely. Um, and I, oh, biodegradable, recycled, natural fragrance. I love it, I love it. I actually don't use soap, like a soap bar in the shower typically. Um, I know this sounds probably gross to some of you, but I don't, I don't use a lot of body wash. I don't get, like I've got quite dry skin. I don't need like lots of emollient stuff on my skin to kind of like, wipe away oils and if i do i use like uh, literally this much this much on like a little exfoliating mitt or like the soap that drips down for my hair i just kind of use that on my body i don't need excessive products so i don't typically use soap in the shower oh this is so cute look at this this is what i don't know if that's focusing but this is what the soap bar looks like it looks like this it smells really nice it smells very natural but i but what I was going to say is I do have soap bars like this um, just in my soap dish to wash my hands. I like to wash my hands with a bar of soap. I find it less less drying on my hands. I feel it just is, is nicer experience for me. And because it is just me and Jake, if we don't have like little kids or anything, my soap stays very clean. But nice. I will definitely use this as my hand soap rather than my body simply because I probably would not use it as quickly. I think this is, this is the last thing in the box. This is the Fix and Rouge Blush Velvet Cream. It retails for £35 and you can see it, £35. And it is a full size by the looks of things. It says an innovative pore perfecting formulation with replenishing and hydrating matte effect. This unique formula helps brighten skin and unclog pores whilst helping to restore natural radiance. Blend onto T-zone over enlarged pore areas with fingertips before applying makeup. Alternatively, wear moisturiser over for a nude matte look. Interesting. Do you know what's interesting about this is I thought at first that this was a primer. And then as I as I read it, I thought maybe it's a mask. And then when I read the second piece, I thought well, maybe it is a primer. It says Hydra Matte Pore Correct Velvet Cream. I'm a bit confused. I think it is a primer, but the bit that gets me is this unique formula helps brighten and unclog pores. Like that sounds skincare to me, whilst also helping to restore natural radiance. It sounds skincare to me, but then the second part blend into a T-zone over enlarged pore areas before applying makeup. That's that's got to be a primer. Interesting. It looks like this. It's like pretty cute tube. It's like a blush pinky sort of tube. Very pretty. Um, interesting. Don't know. Don't know about that. I'm not a massive fan of Fix and Rouge products, to be honest. I feel like they've got a few nice products, but I would never pay the price for any of them. I don't think they're that that amazing. I always feel like I get them in boxes, and I never. They, they always do just like primers like just primers i've never received like a fix and rouge product that i'm like oh that looks nice i don't know like mm. i'm very so so about them i can totally leave them i would not purchase them myself i'm not that interested so okay this box has been pretty skincare heavy it wasn't a bad box though by any means so then i suppose it's on to our friend glossy box oh my god oh my god this is such a cute box hang on look how cute this box is it's like zodiacy. Ooh. oh Ooh, I can store my crystals in this. That's what the vibe it gives me. Nice. Oh, and even the inside. The inside of the box is really cute as well. Fuck your and the ribbon, everything. 
so pretty. Ooh, okay. This is looking nice inside. I'm gonna pick this thing up first. By the way, you could get either two different colors. I don't know if you can see from back here. You can get a green one and a purple one. I got the purple one, which is cool with me. So this is the first product. This is uh, from Percy and Reed. There was two to get. You could either get the Tame, that main frizz fixer spray, or turn up the volume dry shampoo. I've got the volumizing dry shampoo. This is a Dulux Mini. It's 50 mil and retails for seven pound 50, and the full size for 200 mil retails for 15 pounds. It says, turn up the volume dry shampoo. With this dry shampoo spray, you can give your hair a quick refresh no matter where you are. Tackle oil, increase volume, and leaving your hair looking like you've just washed it, even if you only just rolled out of bed. Percy Reed products, I've never been like a particular fan on fan of. I've always found Percy Reed products just like something about them that I don't favour incredibly. And to be honest with you, when I'm talking about a 50 mil sample, a sample, a Dulux Mini, which is seven pounds fifty for this tiny little thing, or two hundred mil for 15 pounds it's just incredibly expensive like how much is this one this one's 350 mil it's from batiste and it's three pound fifty at a push sometimes you get them for like four quid depending on what shop you go into but these retail between two pound fifty and four pounds and is 350 mil brilliant formulation can't recommend batiste enough absolutely love them batiste if you want to like if you want if you want to like do a thing <laughs> I'm here okay I'm, I'm available I'm available um <laughs> Percy and Reed I just don't know like something about their hair products that are nice I just don't think they're worth the price so you know am I happy to receive this in a box yeah it's really really handy having little things like this because they're always overpriced like they're always overpriced these little things like travel sizes are always like not good value for money in my personal opinion I think a lot of people would agree um so yeah it's really handy receiving one of these things it'll probably sit in my drawers until i want to go somewhere you know where i need a little travel bag and i don't want to take this big beast so percy and reed mm, for me personally not a massive fan of the brand however thank you glossy box for giving me a little sample i can travel with you know that's how i view this okay the next thing oh, what is this i really want to see what this is oh i love these so this is by beauty pro it's a warming eye mask and it retails for five pounds it says escape the hustle and bustle and enjoy 20 minutes of warmth and peacefulness with this beauty pro warming eye mask infused with chamomile sit back and relax as the mask soothes your, soothes your eyes and cleanses your mind that was deep the perfect companion after a long day of work i bloody love these things they are a little bit expensive okay they are a little bit expensive and yeah they're a little bit expensive but they do work and i personally love them and i do like to keep one on hand in my drawers sort of like that rose mist i like to keep one of these on hand somewhere because when you need it it's like oh, i wish i had one of those right now once you've tried these you realize how lovely it is to have warmth on your eyeballs like if you've got a migraine like i get migraines not often but i, I do get them more than maybe some other people get and like for me a migraine is like a band of pain around like my eyes behind my eyes it can, it's probably from tiredness dehydrated stress it's like that's what induces it right it happens quite often sometimes um but these eye masks are great because you just open the packet you kind of massage them a tiny bit just to kind of activate them get them going and you just put it on your eyes and they are like really nice and warm for 20 minutes the thing i love to do with these is put them on just before i'm about to sleep and they will get me off to sleep so quickly and by the 20 minutes is over I'm already asleep so I can't be like oh the heat's gone you know so I don't know how they work I think it's like metal particles within the mask and they're like oxygen activated it sounds scary but like don't put this in the microwave or anything like that please do not do that um but they're really great if you don't like flying or you know you're nervous around something like that or seasickness this is quite nice I do take one of these if I travel long-haul flights especially because they do soothe you and really zen you out. Okay, I've spoken enough about that, but they're really good. The next thing is by Steve Laurent. This is the Steve Laurent Orchid Lip Oil. It's 16 pounds and is a full size. My camera's not focusing at all today, is it? I'm sorry. This is what it looks like. It says, as the days get colder and the air gets drier, it's important to keep your skin well moisturized. Swipe this lip oil on for soft, hydrated lips and eye-catching sheen. Non-sticky and comfortable wear. What more do you want? Why do I feel like this is gonna be a pH changing one? It gives me that vibe, you know? It's that color. Ooh. 
It smells like cocoa butter. Okay, I'm gonna like just see if it changes pink and let you know. I've just put a little bit on the back of my hand. It felt like a really nice consistency. If it doesn't change color, <coughs> sorry. If it doesn't change color and it stays clear, love it. Love a lip oil, love a lip oil, okay? Love it. Uh, I love like liquid lip balms, that sort of thing. I get very dry lips because when I concentrate, I do this. I can't help it. I just go full like Wallace mode of, I can't help it. So when I can put products on my lips that are like, glossy or moisturizing it stops me going when I'm thinking because I'm like oh yeah so um, I'm all for that on the day to day I don't think it's turning any color it looks clear to me as I've been nattering away so okay cool cool how much was this again it was 16 pounds mm, not a bit expensive but like I'm getting it in a box I'm happy for that I'm happy that it's clear as well like I said so okay see you on maybe you maybe you're doing things the next thing I see is this. This is the bubble tea, oh my goodness, hang on, we're gonna have different of these. Okay, so there's a bubble tea pink body wash, the green body wash and the coconut body lotion. I think I've got the pink body wash. This is turn on a warm shower, close your eyes and rinse away your stress as you nourish, hydrate and moisturize your skin with the bubble tea tangerine and neroli body wash. That sounds sexual. Um, where was I? Be left smiling. Oh no, no. Be left smelling <laughs> like a tangerine. I was gonna say, be left smiling like a tangerine. Be left smelling like a tangerine. Dream whilst transforming your skin this autumn. Retails for nine ninety nine. Full size as well. A little bit expensive for a body wash, in my personal opinion. Packaging is really cute, as you saw. Like very zodiac. I'm gonna sniff the hell out of this. Oh my god, that smells so good. I love citrus, okay? I love the smell of citrus. I love just, yeah, I just love the smell of citrus, okay? Oh, this smells so good. The Neroli is quite strong, actually. Oh my god. Yeah, this smells really good. I just would not pay the price for it. How much was it? Yeah, it was expensive, wasn't it? Yeah, $9.99. These are a little bit expensive for body wash. Okay, next thing we have in here is this. I literally cannot find this anywhere on this little booklet um i don't know if i was supposed to get this i don't know what's going on i don't know what is going on but this isn't in the booklet at all it's not even on the photos of like the box so i don't know what's going on it doesn't even say it's a free treat this is the naobe restore and nourish hair mask oh my god that is full oh damn okay well let's just take the top out of this oh it looks a little bit Okay, you, you can decide what it looks like, but like it just looks, yeah, it looks a little bit like what you're probably thinking I'm thinking about. <laughs> I'm gonna smell it now after saying that. Oh, it smells so good! Oh my God, that smells amazing. How to apply, apply generously on freshly washed wet hair, distribute with a gentle massage, leave on for three minutes and take effect, uh, to take effect and rinse thoroughly with water. What is that? It smells good. I don't even know leaf juice <laughs> i don't know i think it smells like citrusy like orangey oh i want my hair to smell like that that's really good okay well apart from looking a little bit um dodge in my hand there not that that really matters it smells amazing so thank you for that glossy box don't think i was supposed to be having that i don't know what was going on there but i'm not gonna complain the last thing we have in here is a little green no not green purple purple tube <laughs> green this is the By B um, Beauty <clears throat> Eye Plump. It's full size and retails for £20. Love the packaging for this. My camera will focus, come on. Love the packaging. It's really kind of fresh and cool and young. Um, so this says, banish lines, wrinkles and dry skin around the eyes with this vegan By B. By 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 B. I never know. I should look it up, but I can't bother. Eye Plump. Enhance their sparkle. <laughs> okay, enhance their sparkle and firm up your skin with the natural formula of broccoli extract and evening primrose oil. 20 quid, god damn, that's a lot of money for an eye cream. However, an eye cream lasts a long time. Ooh, and it's got like a precise applicator, which I freaking love. I love a precision, doesn't smell of anything. I like a precise tip. I like to just not, you know, like the orifice in which it comes out of is very important to me personally. Very important, these things. It, it's like the journey of putting on the face. Broccoli extract, huh? Broccoli seed oil. <laughs> wow. Should I be eating more broccoli? I mean, probably. Interesting. Well, that was it. I mean, I'm happy to receive an eye plumping eye cream. Those are both good boxes. Very, very skincare heavy. I don't know if like October's the month for, uh, 
skincare maybe it is maybe they're seeing it as a transitional weather i personally don't i see it as just full-on autumn also i noticed that it's not like you know it's spooky spooky months spooky season didn't really get any like nod to that i suppose glossy box did like a zodiac theme but i don't know how zodiac kind of relates to halloween it doesn't really i don't think but like maybe witchcrafty sort of with box i appreciate the effort okay is what i want to say but like i wish it was like a little bit more spooky themed i don't know but anyway let me know how you guys feel thumbs video up if you did enjoy today subscribe ring the bell do those lovely things and yeah take care stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye